Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I wanted to share something with you guys today that has quickly become a fast favorite in our household. Probably, I can honestly say, hands down, my favorite thing I have bought for all three of my kids' bedrooms, and it is their new Betty's bedding. Now, I like to share my favorites with you guys, whether it be my favorite things I get at the grocery store, my favorite makeup products, household cleaning items, decor, like all that stuff. You guys know I'm all about sharing my favorites. I'm also all about telling the truth and giving my honest opinion and my honest like thoughts and reviews on items. So this is completely 100% an honest opinion on what I think about our Betty's bedding. Now we have had this bedding for a little over four weeks now. I let all three of the kids each pick out their new bedding set. Um, Cohen chose a blue and white stripe, Jackson chose a black and white buffalo check, and Anston chose this gorgeous vintage blush color. I am obsessed with it. I was really excited she chose this because it was what I wanted her to choose. Um, and you all know I plan on redoing all the kids' bedrooms, like painting and hanging up the decor and all that. But with my dad's recent health issues, we have not gotten around to that. That's kind of all been put on hold. So as you can see, her room is still the hot pink walls that are crazy. And they will eventually be a gray, like a light gray from Sherwin-Williams called Agreeable Gray. So once it's gray and it's done and I got the decor all hung up, I will be sure to come back and show you guys how it looks with her new bedding because I think this vintage blush color will just be like gorgeous with the gray walls. So um, if you have not heard of Betty's, if you're not familiar with this company, it is an amazing complete bedding set. So when you buy a Betty set, you don't need blankets, you don't need sheets, you don't need a comforter. It's like an all-in-one thing. And the biggest selling point of this bedding is it makes it so easy for kids to make their own bed. Now my kids are 10, eight, and five. And I know my 10 year old's capable of making his own bed. He does, it, it looks decent. Cohen makes his, he's the eight year old and his will look okay, but I still have to come in and kind of fix it. Aniston, it's just a hot mess when she tries to make her own bed. It's just hard, she knows she's five. So when I saw that kids could perfect, like make their bed perfectly just by zipping it, yes, zipping it, I was like, okay, hold on a second. I first honestly looked at this bedding years ago. I have been eyeing Betty's bedding years ago. And I just never could pull the trigger because I was like, oh, I just don't know what, like, I don't know if it's worth it. Like my kids will learn to make a bed. It'll be fine. Um, so finally I bit the bullet and I did it and I could not be happier. So I thought I would share with you guys how easy this bedding is to put on the bed and how easy it is to make. And then a couple of my favorite things about it along the way. Um, so like I said, this is Aniston's. We've had this bedding a little over a month now, all three of the kids' bedding. Um, it washes up really well. And to wash it, you just unzip it and you, this is the whole bottom piece for her bed. And then this over here is the top piece. And I just wash them each separately, um, machine wash and cold and I tumble dry on low and I just remove it immediately. And it's like not wrinkled or anything. Like it looks perfect. So first I'm gonna show you how I add or put on, I should say the bottom piece. Um, one quick thing before I, before I put it on. One of my favorite parts about the Betty's bedding is the zippers as you can see here. I feel like it's the perfect size and it's easy for little hands to grab and to zip. And it's even easy for adults because I feel like you're not trying to hold on to like that little metal piece on the zipper. So I feel like it's a lot easier to have the tab. So these just go on like a mattress pad would or a mattress protector. So I was honestly a bit nervous about Aniston's bed because her mattress, as you can see, is a very thin mattress. So I was worried that it wouldn't fit right because these are really deep. This could fit a really deep pocket mattress. So I was really nervous about how it would fit on her bed and if it would look funny. And honestly, I don't have anything to worry about. So you just slide it on like that. I still need to get her a bed skirt. I'm trying to decide between a cute ruffle one I saw on Amazon or one that has like little palms hanging on it, like pom poms. So haven't decided on that yet. And then you just tuck it over this corner like so. And as you can see, the whole bottom piece of the bed is now on. Just takes not even a couple minutes, very quick. So here's the whole top piece. And before I put it on, I wanted to show you guys a couple things about this. So my kids, all three chose, I let them choose, like I said, the patterns, but I also let them choose. So Betty's offers either a minky blanket on the inside or a cotton. Now my kids love soft blankets and I know we live in Arizona, and it's hot in Arizona, but in the summer we have our AC on and our house gets very cold, especially upstairs. 
especially Cohen's room. He sleeps with his fan on high, which we laugh about, and his room gets freezing cold. So my kids love soft blankets. And before Betty's, they were sleeping with a ton of soft blankets every night. And every night they were falling off. I would go in there in the morning, the blankets, comforter, sheet, everything's on the floor. Aniston would come in our room a couple times a week and be like, my blankets fall off, you know, in the middle of the night. And it was like, really? Let me come and help you put the blankets back on. It, this has been honestly my favorite part besides the kids being able to make their own beds is not having blankets and sheets and comforters all over the floor. I cannot stand it. And I honestly, as silly as it sounds, it helps with my anxiety to have the room looking a little bit more nice and neat and not having blankets everywhere. So here's the top part of her Betty's comforter. As you can see, it's the super beautiful blush color and it has like the ruching right here. Love it. And then once you flip it over to the inside, you can see the soft minky. So if you weren't aware, the minky is just a really soft fabric with the little bumps on it. So now I'm going to attach the top piece. I'm gonna try, I'm trying to figure it out if I should move it. There's some little zippers here at the bottom. So basically you just have to line it up. I'll line, the bottom piece has a zipper and a tab on the bottom, so I'll line it up with that one and just zip it. And then this side has the zipper and tab on the top part, and I'll line it up with the bottom piece and zip it up. So kind of just like a sleeping bag, sort of. So you just take this piece right here. I'm trying to talk loud enough so you guys can hear me, but I'm trying to not yell. And see how easy that is? I just zipped that top piece, and I have this side zipped. So I just go around to the other side, and I zip this side together. Like I said, super quick and easy. I wasn't aware, honestly, when I ordered it, I never had like looked into it really. I was not aware that you could take the top off from the bottom. So to me, that was a huge selling point because let's say I just wash this and then she spills something only on the top part. I can just unzip the top part, take it off and throw it in the wash and I don't have to wash the whole thing. So now you just lay it out flat and you, the one thing you want to make sure of when you're zipping this up is that the, whether it be the cotton that you choose or the minky is tucked in. You obviously don't want to start zipping it with this in the way of the zipper and getting it caught. So I've just taught my kids to put their hand in there like that and kind of tuck the blanket in. Um, I do like that it has this extra flap because as you can see, when you pull the extra flap down, it covers this zipper. So the zipper never bothers them. This extra flap of blanket kind of takes care of that. And so then when they make their bed, I just make sure they have, I have them tuck the minky blanket in so it doesn't get caught in the zipper. Sorry, trying to set you guys back down without you falling. It is hot in here and I'm like dying up here. It's 107 in Arizona today and it is still May, you guys. This is ridiculous. I need to turn the AC a little colder. So once I have all the minky tucked in, you just zip it like so and then do it to the other side. What another nice thing about this is, is if your kids are kind of crazy sleepers, like mine are, we leave the sides unzipped a little at night so they can have more room, you know, to like move around. If they want to be that tucked in tight, secure feeling, you can leave both sides like almost, you know, like fully zipped. But my kids, like to move around. So we usually leave it about like this at night. They can climb in and out the blankets, you know, like it's a super comfy, cozy. And like I said, they don't have to worry about their blankets falling off in the middle of the night. Even Jackson, my 10 year old, he would be cold and tell me in the morning, oh, I was so cold last night, my blankets fell off. Now that's not an issue. So I'll show you really fast. Each bedding set obviously also comes with a pillowcase and a sham. Um, we are not using our shams currently because I need to get another, I want to get her a thicker, more full pillow. So I want to eventually put the sham on this just to use as decoration and then get her a better pillow um, to put in her pillowcase, the, you know, the one she uses daily. So I do not have the shams out yet um, just because I need to get all three kids new pillows just to kind of even just as to display their shams. Um, you know, with COVID, I wasn't going out and about. And now that everything's finally back open in Arizona, um, maybe I'll venture out this week and find them some. But this is the super
super cute print of her bottom sheet and her pillowcase. It's just white with little blush pink polka dots. And then her bed is perfectly made, you guys. Like, perfect. It looks gorgeous. I'm gonna kinda go up close and show you guys. It looks beautiful. The color is amazing. It has held up so well, like so well. I have been very impressed with how it's washed up. I was super impressed with how easy it was to put on, but let me flip the camera around and kind of show you a little up close of the cute girly details. Okay, as you can see, the cute little ruffles, I love it because it hides the zipper. So you would never even know the zipper was there. The cute little ruffles hide that. Like I said, I'm going to get her a bed skirt. I just haven't decided on a ruffle one or one with like pom-poms. Um, I love the ruching right here. I think that's super cute. And I just think it adds a really beautiful, elegant, like girly touch. And I feel like this is bedding she's not going to outgrow. I, no offense to anyone that has it, but I'm not a fan of character bedding. I feel like kids outgrow that too fast. And my kids at least go through phases. I cannot count how many different things Aniston's been into from Doc McStuffins to My Little Pony to princesses to all this random stuff. And so if I would have bought character bedding, like she's over that stuff in several months and onto something else. So my thing is, is I wanted something that could grow with them. Um, and like I said, I love the zipper tabs. I feel like they're really easy for little hands to grab and to unzip and things like that. Um, the print on the inside is so cute. The minky is so soft. It's just been my favorite, honestly favorite hands down purchase for the kids' room. So as you can see, it's gonna be super cute. I love how it looks with her white bed and I will be so excited to get the decor done and the walls painted because we're gonna add, you know, some throw pillows to this, you, um, some probably like a decorative blanket for the edge of the bed. Like I cannot wait to get her room done. It's gonna be so cute. So you guys will have to stay tuned for once. Once things calm down and we get a little news back on my dad's health and all that, I'll be sure to um, document decorating their rooms and painting them and redoing them because I'd love to share that with you guys. But anyways, I just want to jump on real quick and share one of my new favorite purchases. So I shared a little quick video on our Instagram, which is Kramer, C-R-A-M-E-R dot crew yesterday of Cohen's bedding. And then I'll be sure to share Jackson's bedding next. I kind of was just doing them one at a time. Um, so yeah, this is one of our new favorites. So let me know, comment down below if you guys have tried Betty's, what you think of it. Um, if you've been considering it, if anyone has any questions, feel free to ask and I will try to answer them to the best of my ability. And I will also put a coupon code in the description down below. If you guys use Kramer, C-R-A-M-E-R -E in all capitals, that will get you 20% off your purchase. So I love a good deal and I know you guys do too. So I just wanted to share that with you. So I hope everybody has had a fantastic week and is staying healthy. Thanks guys.